And then the next two sections are about increasing cash flow from your appreciation properties and then inject the forcing appreciation on your uh, cash flow properties. And these are from personal experiences. So first section, how to create cash flow from appreciation. Uh, well, if your home is appreciating, you can potentially do cash out from your properties to create big cash flow as opposed to little monthly cash flow. So yes, you are uh, borrowing money from your uh, from your equity. So, uh, but it is a cash flow. It is a significant cash flow if you have the right investment for it. Um, people, a second way of creating cash flow is house hacking. House hacking is basically um, in, in, in today's terminology is uh, using your roommate or your renter's income to pay for your mortgages. And in the Bay Area, if you're buying a new home, you can have roommates to supplement your income to reduce your holding costs. And if you're retired, you're, you're an empty nester, you can potentially do the same thing of renting out rooms or creating ADU from your existing house to generate cash flow. And we also area to think about add, right. adding ADU because that's one of the best uh, cash on cash return you can find in the Bay Area. And then finally, um, if when you hold Bay Area appreciation properties, you still want to improve your property curb appeal, reduce turnover costs, and then make sure, especially with, as we're in a tenant friendly environment, make sure you raise your rent regularly every year and don't go into a, a, a state where you don't have any rental increases for five, eight, 10 years. I think that creates a vicious cycle. So that's how to create cash flow, some ideas to create cash flow in appreciation uh, property.